Hello everybody, today I decided that we're going to head out to Leighton Lake to hunt some black tailed deer and I put up a poll on what type of weapon you guys would like me to use in the near future and shotgun buckshot won by quite a bit so today we're going to be taking out black tailed deer with all the different shotguns using buckshot and this is going to be interesting because a lot of these shotguns have pretty weak buckshot it really does not do much to the deer so we're going to see how it'll work uh, hopefully in the future we'll get some kind of a, a buckshot buff because currently it's kind of weak But we'll see how things go. Let's just see if we can find ourselves some black tail deer to kill All right, so we got ourselves a little black tail buck right here. He is alarmed, but I Think maybe we can get him if we use maybe the 10 gauge. I Just don't know what the range is like on this thing, but I kind of want to take a shot from here just to test out if it can penetrate at 60. Although this thing is facing us, which is going to make it harder to penetrate. So I might just wait a couple seconds and see if maybe we can get it to go broadside for us. Oh, we actually have a doe coming up close. That's actually going to be a more makeable shot. So I think we'll just shoot her. This will give us a chance to use some of the lower powered shotgun so we'll start with the 20 gauge and see if we can penetrate from this distance it should have no trouble but we'll put a second in her just in case yeah it did hit vitals i'm honestly kind of surprised just because like i was saying the buckshot's kind of weak so i was very very curious if that shot would actually penetrate and it does look like it did Looks like it penetrated both times, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Maybe this will give us an idea of what the buckshot is capable of. So this little doe right here, it just barely, just barely penetrated enough. That's interesting. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend the 20 gauge buckshot at least. Maybe for smaller species like black buck and springbok and stuff like that, but... That did not do much at all to that doe. Alright, so these guys are attentive, so I probably should stay by this tree and see if we can get them to come closer. The wind should be okay, it's kind of blowing in that direction. So we should be fine to just sit right here. Alright, so we are hidden right here, so I think this is where we'll stay. I think we're going to do the 16 gauge buckshot next. Since that's the next up in caliber. Biggest thing right here is I don't want to spook them. I don't want the wind to kind of go in their direction. So I'm just going to stay right here. We're not really going to move. We're just going to wait for one of these deer to come up on us. Oh my gosh, she's right here. Uh, it does sound like we have more even. We won't shoot her yet because I do want to get a buck, but... If she starts spooking, then we'll just take the shot. Which it really looks like she might pretty soon if we don't get something else to come up quickly. That's a little buck right there. That's what we want. That actually took that buck out really quickly. That was way better than the 20 gauge buck shot. <sighs> Ow. Uh, we might get a shot at another deer <laughs> with the way they're running around us right now. Okay, so the doe died finally. Let's go grab this little buck. I'm curious to see how far it penetrated. Okay, so 16 gauge was way better than 20 gauge. Still not great, but it had enough to at least get somewhat into the lung. That's really all you need with buckshot since you're not going to be shooting from very far away. So I'd say that was not too bad at all. Definitely not too bad. 16 gauge buckshot gets a pass from me. The 20 gauge, not so much. But we'll see what it did to this little doe. This was more of a frontal shot, so I'm very curious to see the difference between this and the buck. So yeah, it was just flesh for this one. Don't attempt the front on shots, definitely not a good idea. If you're gonna use buckshot with the 16 or 20 gauge, you're gonna have to go for broadside. There's really no other way to do it. So that is one thing to note about it. 
But let's go ahead and move on to the next shotgun, which is the 12 gauge. And we'll see if we can get a buck with this. All right, so we got a couple black tailed does coming up here. Hopefully they get close enough to where I can get both of them down. So we can get a couple, couple different kills to look at to kind of compare the penetration of the buckshot at different angles. After we go through all these shotguns, I'm probably going to continue hunting and try to get a few more kills with them just so I can get a better idea of some of the ones that didn't perform very well, like the 20 gauge. All right, it sounds like they're getting close, which is going to be interesting since the wind is not in our favor at all. In fact, going to have to take her out right there. And maybe we can get close enough to take the other one if we're lucky. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure it already ran off. Yeah, it's right there. So let's go pick up that doe that we did kill. I'm honestly very curious as to if we even hit vitals. We're not going to be able to tell over here. Because as some of you know, some of you might not, but this lake is really bugged. Any tracks that you have around here are going to be invisible most likely. As you can see by the fact that this doe left no tracks running up here. Absolutely no tracks. It's been in the game for quite a while. I really hope they fix this bug soon. Because it's a pretty bad one. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we did to her. So we did hit lung with 12 gauge. So it's definitely got a little more penetration than the 16 and 20. Which is to be expected since 12 gauge is larger. So not too bad. It did decent on this little doe. But we still need to test it on a couple others at different angles. To kind of see how it performs at uh, different angles. And maybe even some different ranges would be a good idea too. But we got some more deer over there, so I'm probably going to try and call a couple of them in. And then we'll do another test with the 12 gauge. Alright, we got a few more deer coming in, so let's see if we can get a couple of these down. I'm wondering, should I just use the 10 gauge now, or should I try the 12 gauge out more? I think I'm going to try the 12 out more. And we're going to try and take down this level 4, if it will come over here. I'm not sure how close the others are going to get before the 4 comes here, so we might have to just take one of the other ones, but I'd like to get that level 4 down. Ooh, that level 4 is actually coming up pretty quickly, but we have something else to our left. I can't see it, though. But it sounds like another deer is getting really close to us, but this guy is getting close, too, so hopefully he'll get within 25 meters so we can actually take a shotgun shot. All right, so both him and this smaller one are right there coming at me. If I can get both of them, that'd be really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to, though, but we're going to try our best. I actually have another four there that actually scores higher, so... Might have to try and get him, too, if he manages to come back after we spook him off. My gosh. That buck is really close. Not the one we're after, though. The one we're after is still right in front of us. Oh, he's right there. We got him down. Yeah, there's no way we'll get the second one, unfortunately, but we absolutely dropped this guy. I'm kind of curious if we hit hard or not. It could have just been that every single pellet hit the lung, so let's see. Yeah, it was. Just nine left lung hits at 12 meters, so that did the trick right there. Took this guy out pretty quickly, so that's definitely nice there. Definitely nice. Let's go ahead and look at his true score. Uh, I believe this is the one that's bugged. Yeah, this is the one that's bugged. So this rack is pretty bugged currently. Because as you can see, it says 4.41 is the overall spread. And that is clearly not 4.41. So I hope they fix this pretty soon. Because this is meant to be one of the bigger racks for the level 4s. But it still scores relatively low. So I hope they fix this at some point. But... Still a good looking little black tail. Alright, so we got these black tail does coming in pretty close, and I think there might have been a buck too. Uh, actually, it looks like he turned around. So, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and blast a couple of these with the 10 gauge. This one's getting pretty close. Uh, we'll go for her first. Alright. I think we dropped the first one, wow. And the second one just died. 
There's a third right there. Let's see if that hit her good. I'm very curious if the longer range shots... Oh, wow, that actually might have. That health is actually going down. I'm kind of surprised, but I'm very happy with that. Definitely looks like the 10 gauge is... Well, as a lot of you probably expected, is going to be the best when it comes to buckshot. So, yeah, we got only the heart, which is very interesting, but it does have the penetration to hit heart, which is nice. Definitely didn't expect that from a front-on shot, but very pleased with the way the 10 gauge is working out. It dropped all three of those deer, and one of them was at a pretty far away distance, so that's honestly kind of impressive. So the second one right here, it did hit the right lung, and once again, decent amount of penetration. We were only at 12 meters, so that's to be expected. But what I'm curious on is the penetration of this third one, because we were shooting it from a pretty far distance. If it still managed to clip a lung, then 10 gauge buckshot might be viable on blacktail deer. And when I say viable, I just mean at a longer range. It'll be something that you can use and feel better about your shots, not have to worry about it not hitting correctly. Ooh, wow. Okay, so that is stomach and intestines. It does have enough penetration, though at 38 meters, which I don't think the 20 gauge or the 16 gauge would have been able to penetrate at that distance, so we'll have to do some longer range tests, but yeah, I'm impressed with the penetration of the 10 gauge. I knew that the 10 gauge birdshot was absolutely monstrous, and I knew the slugs were pretty insane too, but I didn't know the buckshot was actually somewhat usable, so I'm gonna have to do a little more testing with some of the other shotguns at that same range, and see if they come with equal results all right so we got one at 38 meters a couple of them actually go ahead and take a shot on her all right so we definitely hit vitals on the first one so it does seem that the 20 gauge does have decent enough penetration to where you can hit the longer shots that's good to know. It's very good to know. I need to test the 16 gauge out now. Because that should have been around 35 meters, I believe. Uh, let's see if we can find where she actually died. Ah, there she is. Let's go ahead and pick her up. And we'll see what it did. From what I could tell, it looked like it was a good shot. The first one was kind of far back, but I still got vital blood, so... Oh, we did hit liver, actually. So... Definitely, at that range, quartering's not a good way to go. But it does have enough penetration if you hit the side. Okay, so, yeah, it is usable. We're at 33 meters. So, I'd say you could probably go out to 40 with the 20 gauge. Most likely. We'll have to go test the 16 gauge out at around 40 meters and see how that does. Alright, so we got a decent looking level for Blacktail right down there, and I think we're going to try and get this guy next. Because that is a decent, very solid looking level 4 for sure. There's a few other bucks in the area too, but that level 4 is going to be the primary target if we're able to get him to come in close enough for a shot with the buck shot. Alright, so this doe is getting really close, and this buck has gone attentive, so... This might not work out in our favor, unfortunately, but, you know, honestly, she's at the perfect distance to test this out. Let's go ahead and give, oh, actually, we got a buck right here, who is also at the perfect distance, and he stops behind a tree, of course. That would be our luck. Alright, let's see if that had the penetration to hit vitals, and it looks like that's vital blood. Alright, so that was actually a little bit further of a shot than I thought you could really take with buckshot. Well, that's good to know. 16 gauge can do the job at 50 meters. Alright, let's check this guy out. I'm very curious how many pellets actually hit. So, we had actually a good number of them going into the lung. That was at 44.70 meters, so we're slowly getting out further and further, and it's still able to hit, so that's 
pretty nice honestly because I thought it wouldn't be able to hit at 50 meters but looks like it's doing the trick let's see about this doe because we hit her from probably at least 10 or 15 meters further and I don't know if we hit vitals or not all right so here she is she actually didn't run very far at all as you can see so I think it might have hit lungs and it did at 47 meters so it wasn't as far as I thought but still three meters further than that buck and it pretty much hit everything definitely impressed with the buck shot definitely impressed I feel like they might have buffed it since the last time I used it uh, to give you guys a little idea when the last time I used buckshot was it was before Truex came in so it's been quite a long time since I actually used the buckshot which is why I was 100% down with doing this video and kind of figuring out if it's worth using nowadays all right so the wind is pretty bad for these deer so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get close enough but there is some blacktail drinking right there and I'm gonna see if I can get them close enough to take another shot with the 20 gauge and the 16 gauge to try and get a farther shot I want to try a 75 meter shot since that's the highest you can zero them to we're currently 150 out so we got a little ways to sneak up but hopefully we can get close enough to do it in fact she is actually very close um, we can probably do this All right, so that's two shots in her. The second one should be perfect. If it has enough penetration, then we should be good. Oh my gosh, is that, that's vital blood. That is vital blood at 75 meters or so with buckshot. I'm, I'm very impressed. My gosh, that's actually very surprising. But I mean, that's a good thing. So let's go pick her up and see what it looks like. Very curious how many pellets hit. All right, so I have absolutely no idea where that doe is. I've kind of gone around this entire area and seen no more tracks from her. There was one little blood track right after the initial vital hit, but haven't seen anything else around this entire hunting pressure area. So it's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to get a closer look, but we know for a fact it hit vital. So I guess that's all we really needed to test. You can definitely see that the 20 gauge is actually a little better than we initially thought at the beginning of this video because it did manage to hit vitals clear out at around 75 meters so that's pretty impressive honestly so I'd say that buckshots may be better than what we had thought for so long it might actually be something that is worth using if you enjoy using the shotguns yeah there's just no more tracks around here at all so I guess we're going to go ahead and end the video there, but I hope you all enjoyed this little video with the buckshot shotguns. I figured that since a lot of you wanted to see it, this would be a fun way to do it, kind of test out all of the different shotguns with buckshot and just kind of see how they perform. And honestly, I'm kind of impressed. I didn't expect them to do nearly as good as they did, so that was a very, very nice surprise. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you haven't liked the video already, be sure to do that. It does help push my videos out to other viewers. And if you haven't subscribed and you're new here and you're enjoying the content, feel free to hit that sub button. It really does help the channel out a bunch. But it's going to be it for me. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.